Yo, yo, what's up? What's up? This your boy Phil. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, Happily Married. Um, right now, I want to talk about you got to know who you're dealing with, right? And um, yeah, of course, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, um, you know, share this video, right? But you got to know who you're dealing with. And um, the best way to know and find out who you're dealing with is to look at a person's background. Years ago, I want to say it was probably like 15 years ago, it was a guy that um, I came across at my job and um, he was retired Navy, right? And he was telling me how being that he was like a supervisor, they trained him to do like an end doc. And in that end doc, what he would do is when somebody new came to his section, he would sit them down and have like a questionnaire or an end doc basically where they ask him a bunch of questions or whatever. And it was basically questions on finding out about their background. Like, was your mother present? Was your father in your life? Did you get in trouble as a teen? Um, you know, do you have siblings? And what was your relationship with your siblings and things of that nature? Did you grow up with your parents? You know what I'm saying? Did your grandparents raise you? It was just a ton of questions. And the reason why they was asking all of these questions because a person's background would give you a clear picture or a person's history would give you a clear picture of who they are today and who you're dealing with today. So when he gave me the rundown on this back then, I was just like, man, you think that's true? And he was like, yeah, it's absolutely true. You should apply it. You know what I'm saying? When you just meet people just in general and common general conversation, they'll start telling you about their past and if you pay attention to what they're saying you'll kind of understand why they are who they are today and the type of person they are at the time i ain't really believe it because i was young but it always stuck to me and stuck in the back of my mind what he told me about that and um as i grew and became older and more wise um it really started to ring true for me you know what i'm saying because i really started to pay attention to people and just listen to what they were saying about their history, right? And um, and that goes for everybody, like your history shapes you. You know, this is why people study history so much because history repeats itself, you know what I'm saying? So it's very important when you meet somebody or you're in a relationship with someone, you pay attention to how they grew up, what was their family structure like, um, how were they raised, um, who was present in their life, and basically who raised them, you know what I'm saying? And that'll let you know who you're dealing with to today, right? And your um, current relationship. And um, that's very true because, like, a lot of times, you know, like, even jobs, they do background checks. And this is not to say that people don't change or that people can't become better versions of themselves. But as, as history taught us, history repeats itself. So this is why, I like, jobs do background checks to see... If you was a thief then, you might be a thief now. So I don't want you coming up in here stealing from the job. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You know what I mean? So it's very important that you pay attention and know who you're dealing with. So once you get the gist of a person's background or the gist of a person's history, it'll help you understand how to move in your relationship. If you want to want this relationship to grow, you know what I'm saying? So let's say, for instance... Um, you know, everybody talks about the, the daddy issue situation. And that that could reign true in, in every situation, whether your father was there or not. Because sometimes you have fathers in the home and they still not there. They still not present in the kid's life. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to get a certain outcome from those kids or that person that you're dealing with based on that type of father or the, if the father was act, actively in their life, you're going to get a different outcome of that person. And if the father wasn't there, you're going to get a different outcome of that person. And uh, you just have to be a judge of what person you're dealing with. But you got to pay attention. You know what I'm saying? So let me give you another example. So like two kids or two people growing up in, a, in the same environment can give you two different outcomes, right? So let's say, for instance, you had two kids growing up in a very poverty-stricken environment, right? So 
that same one environment can push one of the kids to say, you know what, when I grow up, I'm going to have my stuff together. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to school. I'm going to go to college. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to start a business. I'm going to become very successful so I don't ever live like this again. And they go on and they do it because they grew up in a poverty, um, poverty written situation. Whereas the other kid, right, they'll grow up to be a dope fiend because of those same poverty conditions. Same um, situation, two different outcomes. But in each outcome, you can actually see why each person became the person that they are. You know what I'm saying? Because that situation pushed this one person in this direction and why they were so extreme this way and the other situation made the other one extreme that way. You know what I'm saying? So if you paying attention to who you with and you actually pay attention to their history, it'll let you know who they are today. Like a lot of people deal with issues where a lot of women deal with issues where they don't trust men because of various reasons. The main one is because maybe their father wasn't there or present in their life because the father is the first man that a woman or a child or a girl falls in love with. And if the male, if the father is absent, then who do they have to look to? You know what I'm saying? Or let's say the father was there, but then he dipped. So now you're dealing with abandonment issues, trust issues, and things of that nature that can carry you on into your relationship as a man. Or, you know, when you meet a woman and y'all get together, that situation could have an effect in your relationship. You know what I mean? Um, if she was if she was molested by a man in her family, that could have a major issue when, while you're dealing with trust issues and she just, why, why she don't never trust me? Well, if you looked into her background, or if not looked into it, but if you found out about her background through conversations with her and y'all talked openly about y'all history or whatever, this will let you know why she has those type of issues. Same thing with a man. You know what I'm saying? Why does he treat me this type of way? But well, what was his relationship with, with his mother? How did he respect his mother? Like, you know what I'm saying? Did his mother, was his mother in his life? Maybe that's why he don't know how to treat you because his mother wasn't in his life or maybe there's some animosity towards his mother that he's acting out on you see you need to know these different things because this will let you know who you're dealing with right now in your current relationship and that'll also let you know if you're willing to continue to try to be in that situation or do you need to bounce you know what i'm saying before it get too deep because some some people are so messed up and if they haven't let that thing go and heal from that situation, it's going to be hard. It's going to be real tough to deal with somebody that been through something like that, especially when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, the father issues or just just all types of situations. It makes it very difficult because you're dealing with somebody who's holding on to something from the past that they didn't let go, that they didn't grow from, and um, it could really damage your relationship now. So, Knowing somebody's history will let you know who you're dealing with to today. You know what I'm saying? Or why they act the way they act today. And you have to do it. And I don't mean just run up and ask a, a thousand questions and quiz them like that's going to turn somebody off. But if, if you're in a relationship and things is going smooth and y'all begin to talk and begin to open up a little bit more, you'll they'll just freely give this information to you but you have to be recording this information with purpose and the purpose is to make sure that you want to improve your relationship or to have a good relationship with this person so part of having a good relationship is actually understanding the person that you with sometimes you can point out some stuff or understand something about the person you with that they may not even recognize themselves but you got to pay attention off the top you know what i'm saying so I know this was a short video, but I just wanted to put that out there that you got to know who you with. You got to want to know who you with also. And paying attention is very important. Listening is very important because when people talk, it ain't just the talk all the time. I ain't going to say like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes we talk the talk, but for the most part, when y'all are having those intimate conversations, the information is going to come out and be readily available for you. But you have to pay attention and put it all together so that way you know who you're dealing with. And it makes it a whole lot easier. 
and you won't be questioning yourself all the time like why she keep coming at me you think it's something wrong with you but it's really the fact that there's something in his or her history that makes them the way they are today and that goes for any relationship your friends may be it may be a relationship at your job or a relationship with your friends and it it applies in that situation as well so i just wanted to put that out there hopefully this information was helpful and um hopefully you can use it i'll holler